We are going to use our bulk eBay example to discuss how to manage images in bulk. We are also going to be relisting the products that we just sent to Amazon to eBay. So what do we need to list to eBay? We need a lot of the same information that we had before, such as the title, price, stock, and condition. But we are also going to need a photo that is 500 pixels or larger, and an eBay search category, which also may dictate required or recommended item specifics. What we want to do is take the same five products we just listed to Amazon and do an action equals relist to send them to eBay with additional information. The bulk workflow is going to be the same. So here we have the file set up with our action in the first column, our GUID in the second column. Since we are listing an auto part, we can also include information about what sorts of vehicles the part is used for. These are known as fitments. On eBay, these values are called EPITs. They are added to a listing as numeric codes, and more than one EPID can be included as a concatenated list using an asterisk between the values. This is not required for auto parts, but the data structure is a little complex, so we just want to show an example for clarity's sake. The next column is the eBay cat ID, or search category. While these can be searched for when adding single products, these need to be indicated by using the numeric value assigned to the category. The last column is the media count. So let's walk through how this works. We need to add at least one image for each product, but we can always add more than one. Just like in the single product add functionality, you can import directly from an image file on your computer, or you can pull an image off the web using a URL. Using a URL, you would use a different header. So you can see from the bulk guide that the column header to use is the media 1 for the first image, media 2 for the second image, and so on up to 10 images. In the cell, paste the URL for your image. If you want to use a file on your computer, then let's get going back to our media count header. First, we need to have our images arranged in a folder in the order we want to use them. In this example, we've arranged all of our sprocket pictures in this Vortex 520 folder and name them with the GUID of the product and then a dash and the image number. You can name the image files anything that you like. We just use these to make sure we always attach the right photo to the right product. How it works is you can see we have two images to attach to this GUID. That GUID is also in the first row of our relist file. So we can put a 2 in the media count cell to indicate that there are two images to add. Moving on to the next row, we see that that GUID also needs two pictures, which will be the next two photos in our folder. The third row product has one image, and so on, through the rest of the file. Once done, you will need to create a zip file of your image folder. To do this, find the folder with your images in it, right-click on the folder, on a Mac, select Compress Folder, and on a PC, choose Create Zip File. You will also need to use Save As to create a CSV file of your image upload information. Now that you have your two files prepared, they will need to be uploaded. So let's go back to SureDone and use the Bulk Upload tab all the way on the left. This time, we will add the bulk relist file first, and then our zipped media underneath. We still don't need to worry about the force button, but if you included any media URLs, click the Import Media URLs button if you want to pull the media into SureDone. You can always just point to the already hosted image on your listing, and do remember that importing media from a URL will greatly increase the processing time on your bulk file. Since we do want to send this to eBay, we can avoid the skip all channels button 
and just select Skip Amazon, since we've already sent them there for listing. Now that we have made all of our selections, we can click Upload to start the process. When you are adding images, you will see a preview window that appears in the Results tab. Click on the preview link to see the images in the grid, and make sure that you have the right images associated with the right products. So there are our first two products with the first two images, and our final three products, each with the correct single image. If the images are all in the right places, just click Confirm in the lower left-hand corner to start the processing. Just as before, you'll see your pending bulk upload. You'll want to download the results file again. Once it's ready, open it up just to make sure that everything went smoothly. You will see that our flags have changed to Amazon Skip, but that our items have relisted successfully. If you go back to the All Product page, you'll now see that our five Vortex 520 sprockets all have images attached. If you click on the GUID, you'll also be able to navigate to the eBay main site and spot check to see that this item has indeed gotten an eBay item ID and when we click on that eBay item ID it does take us into eBay to show us that the listing looks just as we would expect it. So everything really has gone successfully.